When administering antihypertensive medications, nurses need to consider several key nursing implications to ensure safety and effectiveness, including the following. For diuretics, the nurse should monitor for dehydration and electrolyte imbalances, especially low potassium with thiazides, or high potassium with potassium-sparing diuretics like spironolactone. Track fluid status and daily weight, particularly in heart failure patients. ACE inhibitors. Watch for a dry cough and elevated potassium levels. Monitor renal function, creatinine, BUN. As these drugs can affect the kidneys, watch for hypotension, especially after the first dose. ARBS. Monitor renal function and potassium levels. Avoid during pregnancy and watch for hypotension, particularly at initiation. Calcium channel blockers. Monitor heart rate and blood pressure, especially with diltiazem and verapamil, can cause bradycardia. Be cautious with grapefruit juice as it can increase drug levels. Beta blockers. Monitor heart rate, hold if 60 beats per minute, and blood pressure. Be cautious in asthma patients due to bronchoconstriction. Watch for fatigue and diabetic patients may not feel hypoglycemia symptoms. Alpha blockers. Watch for orthostatic hypotension. Drop in BP when standing, especially after the first dose. Monitor BP and educate patients to rise slowly. Renin inhibitors. Monitor renal function and potassium levels. Avoid during pregnancy and be aware of hypotension with the first dose. Central alpha agonists. Monitor for sedation and teach about rebound hypertension if stopped suddenly. Methyl dopa is used in pregnancy. Vasodilators. Monitor for hypotension, reflex tachycardia, and fluid retention with minoxidil. Check for signs of heart failure. To summarize, always monitor blood pressure, heart rate, and renal function, educate patients about side effects, and stress the importance of medication adherence.